Hi guys, hope you're doing great. So today I have my June favorites for you, products that I have been using and loving in the month of June. So if you want to know what that is, keep on watching. The first item I want to talk about are these eye pencils from the brand Color Bar and these are called their Eye Glide Eye Pencils and they are the creamiest, most pigmented, smooth and intense eye pencils you would have ever come across and they come in a ton of different colors. You have to go to check them out if you are a fan of different colored eye pencils. These are waterproof, smudge proof. You can use them as eyeshadow as well, you know, just run it all along your eyelid and just smear it with your finger and you have your eyeshadow. I'll just swatch these for you. The first shade right here is called Cocoa Bar. It's a nice chocolate brown. The second shade is called Electra and it's just your regular navy blue. And the third one is called Amethyst Spark which is a sparkly purple right here. And if you haven't already, you must check these out. While talking about eyes, I want to mention another eye product and this is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. This is how the mascara looks on the inside. It has a plastic brush and the fibers on them are very thin so they're going to get each and every lash of yours no matter how tiny it is and make it look thicker and longer and it's going to curl it as well but the tip to applying mascara is uh, to first curl your lashes and then apply mascara looking down because that's going to really get each hair from the root upwards and it's going to make your hair look thicker longer and blacker the next item I want to talk about are these liquid lipsticks, again from the brand Color Bar. They recently came out with liquid lipsticks. You swipe them on, it looks wet, but within seconds it's going to dry up and look completely matte. I have the shade Hot Latte, it's number 07. This is the shade right here. It's got this rosy, mauve undertone that goes with a lot of different complexions. If you are on the lookout for a nude liquid lipstick and you haven't come across any yet, I think you really should check this out if you are a fan of matte lipsticks and I don't think you will be disappointed. In fact, I'm wearing this shade right now. Let me zoom it in for you. I'm wearing the liquid lipstick and topped it off with a clear gloss. You can wear it either way. If you don't like that matte feeling on your lips, then you can always top it off with gloss and make it creamy and shiny. The next item I want to talk about is a primer. Well, technically it's not a primer. It's an aftershave balm. This is by Nivea. And this serves as a really, really great primer because it has glycerin as one of its ingredients and glycerin, as you know, is a sticky substance. When you apply it before your foundation, it's created this sticky, smooth base on which foundation clings to really, really smoothly. Especially if you have dry skin, the dry patches can be a little visible if you're not careful. If you have that kind of problem, using a primer first before foundation can really, really help your foundation to go on really smoothly. And this one is really inexpensive because, you know, it's a mess product and they don't tend to uh, make men's skincare products that expensive because they know that they're not gonna buy it. Actually YouTube is kind of bursting with uh, people talking about this as a primer instead of just your aftershave balm. So do check this out. I have personally used it and it does a great job as a primer. The next thing I want to talk about are these eyeshadows from the brand Makeup Geek. Now Makeup Geek is an American brand. They come in tiny pans like this and they have a magnetic back. So you can buy those empty palettes in which you can uh, stick these on because of their magnetic back and they are really really good you have a ton of different different shades you know when you buy an eyeshadow palette it seems really economical because you know you're getting four five shades in one palette but the problem is uh, you tend to buy the palette for one or two shades that you really really like and you don't end up using the other shades so when you look at it that way it's kind of a waste of money but when you buy single eyeshadows customize it according to your preference and your favorites i will show you the swatches of these eyeshadows if you can see this first shade right here it's a very light transition shade it's called peach smoothie and it is a very um, light cream colored eyeshadow that's for putting it in the crease area and on your brow bone the second one is a brown and it's called cocoa bear and it's going to serve as another transition shade this is a proper black like just look at how dark it is whenever i buy a palette and i look out for the black the black is never as black as i want it to be whereas this one is really jet black this is one you need to have to kind of darken up any shadow that you have this last one is called morocco and it's a proper orange brown kind of shade great 
for the crease area all the products that i'm mentioning right now and their availability is going to be mentioned in the description box below so do check that out so these are available on a website called beautybay.com and it's a british website but they ship worldwide for free it takes about seven to ten days for you to get your items but you get a ton of different items like you know you get some of these items on amazon and flipkart as well but sometimes the prices are so jacked up that you really don't want to buy anything there the last item i want to talk about is an eyelash curler and i mean any eyelash curler now as i said when i was talking about the mascara always curl your lashes before you apply mascara even if you have sparse lashes so you're kind of priming it like how you prime your face you're priming your lashes before you apply mascara if you haven't tried this you should you will notice a stark difference between uh, curling your lashes and then applying mascara versus just applying it as it is and those were all my favorites for the month of june if you liked any of the products and are wanting to go out and purchase anything leave a comment down below i would love to hear what you liked and as always guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye